I'm about to apply more than 30 viral makeup products on my face and I'm questioning my life choices. <laughs> Okay, my friends, I couldn't find a faster way to do a speed reviews on my latest purchases at Sephora because if you don't know, if you're not aware of, Sephora is having the spring savings event and I have uploaded two hauls but on such haul videos, a lot of you had asked me, I want to see this product in action and at this product in action, I'm like, oh my gosh, there are so many products. How am I going to do this? So I'm taking one for the team and I'm just going to be your guinea pig to <laughs> and I'm gonna apply all these products, give you speed reviews, and give you updates of other products that I have been using in the last few days so you know if they are worth it or not to get before the Sephora sale ends. And don't you worry, I have the logistics of how I'm gonna apply these products, or I think so, and I have to rush because I'm gonna be very honest with you. I need to get ready because my youngest daughter, she's having a presentation and we need to be there um, in less than 30 minutes. Hopefully I can do so. So buckle up and let's get it started. First things first, let me tell you that I took a shower. <laughs> I do take showers every day, but I do not wash my hair every day. So just really quick update right here. I basically use first my money mask that you know that I absolutely love. I don't go without using my money mask every time that I wash my hair, but also I have tried the new money mist and it is a leave-in conditioner. It is the first time that I'm using it. And honestly, I feel my hair, it is super silky, super manageable. It dries super quick. I use my Dyson Air Wrap. You know, my friends, how much I love that product. I rave about it. I have used it since the day that Dyson Air Wrap launched to the market. I bought it and I love it. And in terms of this Money Means Leave-In Conditioner, it leaves your hair, as it says, looks lightweight, feather-like, silky, but not limp. Nothing that feels like, okay, it doesn't have body. Does it make sense? And after that, I went ahead and applied on my body the La Mer Body Cream. And this is something that I have used in the past. One of you mentioned that there has been some changes with La Mer and their formulations. I'm honestly not aware if that has happened in the body cream, but it feels super nourishing, moisturizing, it's not too heavy, and it smells incredible like a spa-like. After that, I did my skincare, and usually I use niacinamide on my skincare routine. Usually it's the one by Paula's Choice, but I will say a little bit over a month, I open up this baby right here, the one by Glow Recipe, and during my whole video, you know that I purchased the new Sun Glow one. And honestly, at first application, it doesn't seem that it gives you enough color. I think it does give it just a touch of color as time progresses. So you let it, you know, you rub it in, you let it set a little and it would just, you see, usually my skin tone on my face is way, way lighter than my shoulders. And as you can tell, you see this right here, my skin tone on my face is looking very alike. To my shoulders so that means that it gives a little bit of a hint of tint is completely sheer it does give a gorgeous glow to the skin i mean as amazing as this one if you want something completely sheer go with this if you want just a touch like it says right here a sun glow to the skin then go with this one is as good as a product and it doesn't have as much tint as say the drunk elephant one and how i know that because i also own it and actually my oldest daughter she uses it right now too and i know that give a lot more pigment now let's apply a little bit of body oil and i'm gonna go with this baby because summer is coming and i mean it doesn't matter if it's summer or not. I mean, the Tom Ford Soleil Blanc body oil is just so good. But I want to show you right here how it looks like. I also bought the new one by Sol de Janeiro, which it does have. Oh, look at that. It is a dry oil. It's so good. And it smells amazing. Oh my God. <laughs> this is just incredible. I mean, really great to layer. I was saying that I also bought the one by Sol de Janeiro, the one that has SPF. And I'm sure I'm going to be inserting some clips right here, here and there. You will see that um, the one by Sol de Janeiro is like this one by Tom Ford that it give a very subtle glow to the skin. But although it seems like it has shimmer particles, it doesn't show that much. I think even less than the one from Tom Ford with direct sunlight. With the one from Tom Ford, direct sunlight, you're gonna see not really like glitters, but tiny specks of shimmer particles. The one from Sol de Janeiro, 
no it doesn't even when i shake it a million times it didn't and as far as the body cream it does have when you apply it a little tiny bit of white cast but believe me that when you rub it in on your skin it disappears right away it's one of the most elegant kind of body lotions that i have tried that they don't leave that very strong white cast on my skin tone because i'm not i mean like i'm white but i'm not the fairest one of all i'm not snow white <laughs> okay friends let's go ahead and apply the next product which is the super goop protecting daily spf 50 and i got it in the shade 24 n by the way i will be leaving all the details of the products that i'm talking about today on the description box below along with the links for your convenience easy shopping if you're shopping the sale if you're not don't you worry i really appreciate that you're here supporting me by watching the video if you're liking the video so far please give it a thumbs up it really helps a lot for my channel to get discovered we're almost at 29,000 subscribers and i'm sure in a blink of an eye we can get into 30,000 subscribers or more this year my dream is to go to the 100k i mean that would be incredible right? so i can only do it with your support and i want to say a big thank you if you decide to shop through my links i really appreciate it i will be leaving also all of the products on the youtube shop it will be pretty sure it's on this side or on this side oh my gosh i forgot on the right side i'm pretty sure it's on the right side just tap it and you'll find all the products okay friends if you don't want something with a tint i would highly suggest to go with the tatcha the silk sunscreen this is something that i have used for the longest time ever is a great sunscreen mostly if you want to apply makeup on top of it but since i'm applying this one i don't want to combine both of them also another thing that i really like about this touch of the silk sunscreen is that they change the packaging because i don't know if you remember the other packaging i really like the square and you know that it was small and compact and very thin but there was kind of like a film that after a while after touching it with the oils and all of that Oh my gosh, all that film will come out like cracking a neck and having eggshell <laughs> on your skin. I know, that sounds crazy. And by the way, if you're new here to my channel, welcome. <laughs> My name is Jacqueline and I do feel in natural light with a 4K camera. I'm sitting right now on top of my bed. I just moved. And I'm trying to find myself like where I'm gonna be filming right now. This seems fine, although I have to put a ton of like towels like on top of my rug, on top of my bed, because everything is so white. I don't want all this makeup to go on anything. So let's take a peek about on this teen SPF. You know what? It's not giving me like a super, super, super glow, but it's giving me, I will say, a line to almost medium coverage. And I say almost medium coverage because I do have a ton of freckles, <laughs> a ton of sunspots here and there, and they are hard to cover. And honestly, I don't like products that cover absolutely everything. If I feel that I need some extra coverage, I usually go with my concealer for that but otherwise with this is more than enough my favorite SPF in terms of tinted SPF is the one from color science they don't carry it at Sephora and it does give you the most gorgeous glow but this one by super goop it does give a really nice glow to the skin without looking oily or heavy and the tint is not like so intense so i'm sure like you can make another shade work i mean you can bounce between a couple shades before i continue i also purchased that la mer lip treatment it's not an oil but it's just a lip infused treatment kind of thing and for the longest time ever they had one completely clear and now they have i think a total of four different shades so i went ahead and pick up this light pink and this is a volumizing kind of lip treatment which is gonna plump your lips but in a subtle way now i do have pigmented lips but this tint uh it's not giving me enough <laughs> i mean i i feel like i'm using you know the clear one i think in order to show on my lips i will need to go with one of the deeper shades so i will say if you don't have such lips like mine that they are very pigmented then i mean totally go with this one but if you have more 
pigmented lips like myself, then I will suggest go with one of the deeper shades. I'm applying the House Labs concealer. Honestly, there has been a couple concealers that I consider. One of them was by Say, and then there was another one. And honestly, as you can tell, I do have such dark under eye circles that I thought to myself, you know what? Um, I don't think those will give enough coverage. Maybe I'm just judging ahead of the game, but they were not so intriguing to me. And I also thought, hey, you know what? Because I'm gonna be trying a couple new powders, the one from Pat McGrath, one of them, the pink one, and then this new one by Hourglass is called the Vanish Airbrush Press Powder. I said, you know what? Let's just go with a concealer that I know so that way I can give you a really good feedback about the powders. Concealer is done and blended. Now I'm gonna go with this precisely my brow wax by Benefit. I got it in the shade 3.75 and it comes with this little this the one and I'm just gonna apply it. Oops, 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 oops. Okay, these have a good amount of tint. I don't think you really need. I mean, if you have as much brows as I have, you may just be able to use these without a pencil underneath. Because this will definitely feel in the brows. And you can feel how sticky it is right away. Before applying the setting powders, let's go with the fragrance of the day. And this one is Kilian Sankis Goddess. I have been using it for a couple days. If you were thinking this is a like to say Tom Ford Soleil Blanc, it's not. This leans a little bit more white floral with Ilan Ilan, Tiare Flower for sure, Coconut, there's a little bit of a woody note. Also, it does have as a top note Bergamot, and I'm a Bergamot lover, but I can really not scent that much. To me, it directly goes into that white flower. So it's a very like tropical, chic, feminine white flower kind of fragrance. Now let's go with a setting powder. I really want to try this new Hourglass Banish Airbrush Press Powder. It comes with a little applicator. Now this is supposed to be mattifying, filtered, talc free. I do have more of dry skin, sensitive skin, mature skin. I usually do not tend to use powder. <laughs> So my face for the most part, very minimal, only if need be, but you know, let's go for it. Oh, it's super soft. These are supposed to go translucent. Oh yeah, this appears on your skin. So let's, I mean, let's try it like this and let's see from there. I'm just gonna apply it right here where I have my enlarged pores. Oh, oh, oh yeah, ah. <laughs> oh. It does blur my enlarged pores for sure, but it does have more of a mattifying effect. It doesn't have that very light, subtle kind of glow that you get from the Hourglass Veil Cream Powder. This one can, it's a little bit more natural. Now, let's do something. Let's try this same powder under the eye area just on one side of my face. Okay, the good thing I have to tell you is it doesn't feel, you know, I do have dry skin, I do have mature skin, I'm over 40 years old, and sometimes underneath the eyes, because we have more wrinkles, you know, the signs of aging, right? Sometimes when you use a modifying powder, it can feel like it's sucking the life out of you. This one doesn't, and it really did a great job at mattifying this area over here. Now, let's go for this baby. Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Blurring Under Eye Setting Powder in the pink shade. Very light pink. It's not... It's not as I thought... I thought it was going to be closer to Westman Atelier Powder in Bubble. That has more pink tone. This one, it's very close to the white one. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'm like, it's more like a pearl ice pink, like, like a pearl. But you know what, let's try it. I'm gonna use the other side of my brush. This is how much I picked up. And let's see if it's blurring. Okay. 
Is it brightening? I think yes. More than this one by Hourglass. I think it does give that brightening effect and it's extremely lightweight, barely imperceptible, and also somewhat giving a more of a demi matte natural finish. What do you think, my friends? Is this the winner or the one by Hourglass? To me, the one from Hourglass is a little bit more mattifying without feeling drying, but mostly perfecting and honestly airbrushed. Well, friends, I actually fail <laughs> because I was supposed to do my makeup to go to um, watch the performance of my youngest daughter. We went, so I went out for about, I will say an hour, oh, sorry, I'm looking for my mirror here, for about an hour with only the SPF, the concealer, the setting powder. So I can give you a quick update right here since, I mean, why not? We're trying all this makeup, right? Um, you know, I'm surprised that this SPF, it doesn't show a lot of glow, which in turn means that, I mean, this is a good SPF for summertime you know because in summertime even when we have dry skin yes your skin can be dry but you can also break a little bit of a sweat um, and actually today when i'm filming this video in my area it's about 74 degrees which is pretty warm for springtime and it feels a little bit hot definitely i have not break a sweat but it just stay very natural very natural finish if say for example if you're thinking about the color science SPF that it has a little bit more of a glow. This one doesn't. These have more of a natural borderline matte finish. Now in terms of the setting powders they look as good but definitely the one from Hourglass it blurs your pores. It's just like wow blurring yeah completely blurring while the one from Pat McGrath definitely is for brightening. I mean like you can see the difference in camera for sure. Next Too Faced. I think this is a new product from them. It's a bronzer on a stick and it is the melting bronzing and sculpting stick. I got it in the shade Chocolate Souffle. I tried it on my hand and it seemed to blend really well. It does have a orange chocolate kind of scent that is so good. I love, I mean like my favorite, one of my favorite things to eat is orange peels deep with dark chocolate. That is my that is my thing like that's my guilty pleasure if you want to know so let's just apply a little and see how this goes because why not and since it's a kind of like two-in-one product bronzer and a school thing kind of situation i think this will work just great and you may be wondering why i'm not using my sephora brushes is because friends i know where they are but they are dirty <laughs> So I'm using whatever I have still on hand. Uh, you don't know. You, I mean, you know. Moving <laughs> is such a challenge. But anyhow, to what you're here for. These blends like a dream. Look at that. Wow, Too Faced. Now, it, it blends really well, but it also kind of shears out quite a bit. You see what I mean? I mean, it didn't keep much of that pigment on. I mean, I'm sure you can build it up, but I don't want to have too much product. Let's just build it up a touch right here. Because I'm using a stippling kind of brush. So, in return, I should have a little bit more pigment than this, but it really doesn't buy much. Do I like the product? Yeah, for the ease of use. If you're a person that is more minimalistic with your makeup, I think this will do the job really well. I mean, it took me just a couple seconds to do this. Now, let's go with the eyeshadow palette. I'm honest with you. I had been contemplating to get the, what is it called, the new palette from the Nessa Myrix, but it doesn't me in and I think it has to do because the packaging is just so big a little bit chunky and that's very notorious from Danessa Myricks all her compacts they are not really compact <laughs> they are a little bit massive and I don't know they just don't pull me in although I know and I'm sure it's of amazing quality I just sincerely feel like she needs to really bump up a little bit on the packaging I know 
the prices of the Nessa Myrick are not as high as, say, Pat McGrath. You're really paying for quality with the Nessa Myricks, but anyhow, I'm gonna use another new eyeshadow palette at Sephora, and it's this baby right here, Tone 4 Emerald Dusk. And I did already my review on the entire Tone 4 Summer 2024 collection, including this eyeshadow palette. Today, I'm just gonna do a very easy, simple kind of look using just this shade with more of a fluffy brush. It's a classic crease brush by Sonia G, if you're wondering. And this is the beauty about these eyeshadows from Tom Ford, in particular on this specific eyeshadow quad. I love, I mean, honestly, you will not go wrong. Like if you decide to go with something from Tom Ford, I think it's a great time to add a Tom Ford eyeshadow quad to your collection of any kind because of the different kind of formulations, the versatility of the palettes, the simplicity, the easy of use, the great formulas and beautiful, beautiful color stories such as this one right here. So you see, talking about formulas, these, if you swatch it, it's going to be more of like a, not a metallic, but kind of like a satin borderline metallic kind of finish. I mean, look at this, you see, look at that. And then these right here, the same thing. But depending on which type of application you use, what type of brush and tool or technique, you can tweak the finish of the eyeshadow. And I love that versatility. So now I'm going to use this worker brush from Sonia G, which is more of like a packing brush. And I'm just going to apply it on the outer third of the eyelid. And you see, now depends out my outer eye area. And then I'm just going to go directly with my finger, with this shade. And I'm just going to apply it right here, the center. I mean, super easy eyeshadow look. <laughs> I mean, like, this could not be any easier. And the good thing is that you have a pop of color, you know, if you want to jazz it up. I think these palettes, they tend to be those that I use the most because I find them very versatile. Now I'm going to go with a Refer 03 brush. I'm pretty sure Refer is still having a 40% off on their brushes. I will be leaving the link on the description box below. I do have a discount code with Refer. So just in case if you are wondering, but yeah, great brushes too. Going back to another Sonia G brush and I'm going to go with this shade and I'm just going to dust it on my lower lash line. And you see, that's something so easy to do. Look at that. I mean, in a blink of an eye, pretty much. It's more me talking than whatever it really takes to apply these eyeshadows. Just like such a great palette. And I really like this improved formulation. This is not the creme formula. It's not that wet and dry formula. This is his, you know, like long time woof, from so many years kind of formulation. But it, they, they have improved with the years, and I have seen that improvement going on since last year. Okay, friends, I went ahead and purchased a couple brown eyeliners, and I love the one from Benefit, the roller, it's called Roller Eyeliner, I think it is, in brown, but I couldn't find it. I don't know if it's discontinued or not. So I saw that Benefit has come out, I think this is new, is they are real extreme precision liner, I also picked up the Feline Fleek eyeliner also in a brown shade from Charlotte Tilbury, but this one is one that, you know, it has been in the market for so many years. And then the Lancome Ultra Precise Waterproof Liner. So let's just try these two. Okay. Oh, this is super thin. Okay. And I like this shade here because, you know, sometimes brown eyeliners, they I love them because they make of the eye look a little bit more simple. I mean, shouldn't say simple, but you know, every day it doesn't look so made up because a black eyeliner usually give a little bit more of that intense kind of look. So you see, I think, I mean, that was super easy to do and I have hooded eyelids. I feel like the actual tip is so precise and it's super bendable super super bendable so there you have it a little win and that took me no time so that's by benefit 
I think it's a new product, correct me if I'm wrong, but at least new to me. And then the Lancome Idol Ultra Precise Waterproof Liner, also in a brown shade. This seems to be a little bit more of like the typical, oh yeah, uh-huh. It's super smooth too. And this one seems to be just a little bit of a lighter brown tone than the one from Benefit. I think they are not super even both sides. I think I did longer on this side and shorter on this side, but oh well. <laughs> I mean, both of them really easy. If anything, I like them both. The shades are pretty close. Perhaps I like the Lancome shade a little bit more. I mean, looking up close, okay? <laughs> this is something that nobody's gonna come so close to you to like look at that shade, but personally, perhaps I like a little bit the shade of the one from Lancome a little bit better. I'm just trying to elongate a little bit more this one here because this one is longer. Okay, now they look a little bit more even. But there you have it, friends. Really, really good eyeliners, both of them. Let's do blushes. These are the new House Labs. Well, I shouldn't say new, but the new reformulated blushes by House Labs. They have this beautiful packaging, so pretty. I really love the color coded. I think they did a great job with the new packaging. Let's see if the formula has changed for the best or if it has stayed the same. Let's go first with Pomelo Peach. Beautiful peachy tone. Oh, these are so smooth. This smooth. Oh, so smooth. So good. Woo! That's super pretty. Okay, on the other side, I'm gonna go with French Rosette. And don't you worry, I'm using a clean brush for this. And that's the shade. Oh, let's swatch it so you can see the difference in shade. Oh, nice. A little bit more terracotta kind of tone. Yes, a little bit more like golden hour kind of shade. So let's go for it. Ooh. Okay, now that's super pretty. In terms of the finish, these are more of a soft matte kind of finish. Not flat matte though. This has a lot more pigment, obviously, than this one here. You know, with a tan, this shade, I feel it's gonna look so good. But this peachy shade, I mean, like, no failure with that, right? So good. Okay, friends, let's put them these side by side. Pomelo Peach French Rosette. I removed both blushes and now let's go for ah Barbie Pink. <laughs> this is Dragon Fruit Days. Let's swatch it. This is a very unique pink. I think unique because it's, it's cooler in tone but not so, so cool. I mean, such a pretty shade. Let's go with this shade. And let's see. Come on, Barbie, let's go party. <laughs> Building it up a little bit more so you can really see the shape. Oof, oof, oof. So pretty. You see, it's not super cool tone. I love this shade. So pretty. I overdid it, obviously. <laughs> you know, just so you can truly see the shade. But it's gorgeous. And you see, it does have this blurring effect. Airbrush finish. Oh my gosh, so good. For the shade that I'm so excited to try. Hibiscus Haze. I mean, tell me. <laughs> Okay, this is, I know it, <laughs> I know it. Let's go for it, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <sighs> okay, this is that shade. You see, do you see that? Wow. <sighs> Lady Gaga. 
you know, I'm so happy they rebranded, they reworked their products. You remember when they first launched, they were at Amazon, nothing wrong with Amazon. I shop a lot in Amazon actually, but they were, they were missing something. And now there's nothing that is stopping them. Look at this. Oh, obsessed, okay. If you were thinking of one shade, this one is a must, a must have, a must have. So, Dragon Fruit Days, super beautiful pinky bunch, oh, love it. And then, Hibiscus Haze, romantic, all year round kind of blush, so good. But if you thought we were done, <laughs> no. <laughs> I have here the new Rare Beauty blushes. Sheer with happy. Now you can definitely see sheer does have more of a peachy undertone and happy definitely is more of a pinky undertone. And I feel like sheer has even more, it's more reflective than happy. See there? And they do have a sheer luminous finish. They are basically a hybrid between a, a, what I will say a luminizer and a blush, meaning that they have that property to kind of highlight, but because they have some sort of sheerness in it, but with a bunch of color, you know, they are kind of like a, you know, extra charge luminizer, but not truly a highlighter. A highlighter usually tends to have more pigment. They are more intense and they tend to even leave kind of like a cast. So let's try these babies. Let's go first with sheer. Look at that. Oh, that's gorgeous. Don't tell me this isn't gorgeous. I mean... As a luminizer, it does have not reflective particles. It doesn't really have any shimmer or glitter. It's rather blurring, yet, because it does have that reflection property, I mean, if you have texture, even large pores, you wanna make sure you have set beforehand. I think this is working wonderful with this formulation because it's so blurring that applying this over top give that, you see that beautiful shine, but is not emphasizing my texture or my large pores. This shade is just gorgeous to say the least. So beautiful. I'm really hoping the camera is able to showcase the shade because it's just way pretty. Next, let's go with Happy. See the pigment? One. Mm. Beautiful, beautiful, stunning, isn't it? Look, look at this. Look at that. Wow. The point that I don't even want to take them off <laughs> because they are so good, friends. They are stunning. The next shade is Joy. So pretty. Mm. I mean, more intense speech. See the warmth right there? I had to open my window. It's getting so hot in here. And then hope. There's hope. Let's do joy. That's beautiful. And you know what? They blend like a dream. And let's go with hope on the other cheek. It's gorgeous too. There you have it. Joy. Look at that. Look at that. This is a joy. <laughs> ah, 
and hope. Done with the blushes and I'm going to try this new Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Bronzers. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for these. I honestly do not know if they have arrived yet or not at Sephora. Hopefully they do so in time for the sale, but I want to show them to you no matter what. So I have here Nighty, and Nighty is more of like your golden, a little bit cooler tone kind of bronzer, and then I have here 100. I actually have used 100 before and it looks so pretty. Let's just apply both of them, one of each side, because why not? I'm gonna do 90 on this side. And these, they do have that luminous finish. Oh, so gorgeous. So pretty. They blend seamlessly. Now, they do have on the pan, you can see a little bit of golden flecks. It's not shimmer, but it seems like it's kind of like mica. But when I apply them on my face and as I brush them, it's not the same as, I mean, not even actually swatching them. Again, this is the shade 90. You're going to see those particles. You know, I think they're just there for blendability to make it easier to blend okay i removed the blushes from house labs from here but there you have it you see this is 90 and this is 100 so definitely 90 is more of that golden vibe kind of tone and then i'm going next with 100 I like them both, but I feel like perhaps 100 on my skin tone looks a little bit more natural. It's just more of a natural bronze. Oh, I can see that. Mm, so good. And they are oversized. I mean, they're stunning. They truly are. Just hoping they come to Sephora before the sale ends because they are so good. Now for highlighters, I have a few highlighters right here. You already have seen me trying this Tom Ford Nude Sun Highlighter. If you haven't picked it up, do yourself a favor, pick it up. This is incredible. It's so good, so beautiful. It's just heaven. And if you want to see it in action, again, I do have my review on the new Tom Ford Summer Collection. So go ahead and watch it. I also have here the new Natasha Denona Hygiene Skincare Infused Glow Beautifier is a highlighter, cream highlighter. So I'm thinking I'm going to reserve this for a separate video, maybe just a full on review on this product alone. And then I do have here the new Dior Forever Glow Maximizer in the shade Nude. And this is part of Dior's Summer 2023 collection. And because I'm going to be reviewing the entire collection, I'm going to save it for that. So, what I'm going to put as our highlighter, honestly, with these Rare Beauty blushes, you can skip highlighter or luminizer, but I have here the Sephora Colorful Luminizer in the shade 05 Ice Pearl. So, let's go for it. And let's see how this goes. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, wow. That's so beautiful. Oh. Oh, okay, Sephora. And it's super creamy to the touch. I mean, like, honestly. So soft. It's not powdery. It's more, it's not a cream formula, but it's super creamy in terms of, like, it has a lot of emollients. Wow. Wow. And these are very inexpensive kind of highlighters and makeup in general everything that is sephora collection it's lower cost the packaging too it's you know a little bit more plasticky flimsy whatnot but what is important is the product inside and sephora is having 30 percent the entire sephora collection regardless of your tier so anybody can access the sephora collection at 30 percent off which i think it's incredible would i choose this one 
more than my Tom Ford one. Uh, no, I will still keep my Tom Ford one no matter what, but this is a really nice highlighter if you were thinking to pick one of the Sephora luminizers, which they come in actually different tones. Another blush that I have here is this baby by Milk makeup and i have already tried it before here on camera you know that yes i recommend it i will say be very careful though don't leave it unattended under the sun because i feel that it will not completely melt but it will just start you know having these water droplets and they are teens and therefore they really really stain and it's very hard to clean therefore these blushes are really good as a stain say if, you know summertime is coming most likely the blush is the first thing to go away from your cheeks so i think this will last you forever also if your skin tends to eat your makeup i think these are excellent blushes because we can choose any shade and make sure you use a synthetic brush and you don't stamp it directly to your face okay friends next lipsticks so we have here giorgio armani prism glass lip gloss in the shade o2 so they come in different shades but this is the shade that kind of like call my attention so doesn't have any scent oh yes look at that like glass Ooh. oh this is so good you see and this is exactly what i was expecting from the one from la mer i love the treatment from la mer I'm not saying I don't, you know, that is right now my OG because it plumbs my lips, it fills the lines really well, it preps the lips perfectly for going with lipstick or just use it solo, but I was hoping to get a little bit of that, you know, like this pinky shade, like that. No, this formula, super thin, non-goopy, doesn't make those weird strings. Okay, Armani. You're getting my money. Oh, I'm gonna go back and buy a couple other shades because this is gorgeous. Gorgeous. I mean, you sit alone, you don't even need makeup on. Now, Milk Makeup, they had come out with their lip oils, the Kush lip oils, and I got it here on the shade Pink Magic. Smell it. Mmm, you know, it smells like Jolly Ranchers. <laughs> so good. I mean, very nostalgic. Oh, okay, this is so good. But they don't have a lot of pigment. Well, at least this one. I thought it was going to have just a little bit more pigment, but it doesn't. I mean, doesn't bother me. And maybe I would choose a shade deeper, but I mean, it's doing the job and it feels so good. And look at that. Mm, I like it a lot. So, meal makeup. Kush lip oil. Tatcha also has come out with a new Dakisu lip tints and they come in three different shades. I actually picked out the shade Camellia and Plum Blossom. They're like lip balms and they do have SPF 25. They are made in Japan. I'm going first with the shade Plum Blossom. Shade Camellia. such a pretty shade Camellia. now you know my obsession with this huda beauty fall filler i went ahead and picked up all the different shades i know i know i know don't blame me so we're gonna swatch them first starting with the shade bombshell foxy wash Coco, Sugar Baby, Honey, Glassy, okay friends, regarding these Huda Beauty Fall Filler glosses, I love them one thing that i have to tell you i have seen a lot of like tiktoks where people apply the whole thing on there is a really a strong stopper on and even though they have that stopper i will suggest to just take the excess amount because you don't need a lot 
you need very little amount to obtain this glassy kind of finish of lips juicy lips you don't need a lot if you put too much of this product that's where you see all that you know streakiness not on the lines of the lips but also you know when you open your mouth and it looks like you have a strings that's what it will happen because you will have too much product applied just make sure you remove a little bit of the excess and then you should be fine with that i love these lip glosses i think one of the best lip glosses there are again a little goes a long way more pp products house labs and these are the pro hybrid lip glaze okay i got them in the shade macaron and oh i love this type of the full applicator lighting consistency and they are a little bit sheer. Oh, these are gorgeous. Ooh. Okay. I like this a lot. Macaron. Guava. Okay. Love this shade. So good. Praline. Love this shade. Oh my god. I'm gonna be able to decide these are gorgeous <gasps> house labs you're doing amazing definitely thinner consistency than the ones from Huda Beauty super glossy I mean pretty much a lip oil kind of situation but with the perfect amount of pigment <gasps> these are just so pretty oh my goodness House Labs is doing an incredible job with their formulas. Yes, yes, I really love these. These I absolutely love. This is what I expect like a lip oil to look like. You know, that it has some pigment. It does have a good consistency and it doesn't gather on the fine lines. These are so good. Charlotte Tilbury just launched the Pillow Talk Fair, a new addition to her Pillow Talk family. We have the Pillow Talk Fair lipstick. Now, this is not the matte revolution formula, but rather the Kiss Kiss formula, which is her satin formulation. So we're gonna start with the lip sheet in Pillow Talk Fair. Okay, definitely this is not as warm as the original Pillow Talk. Mm a great shade the lipstick is not in the matte revolution formula but rather on her kiss kiss formulation which is her satin formula oh now that is a nice pink oh, gorgeous and definitely cool tone and last the collagen bath in pillow talk fair Oh my gosh, this is so good. Okay, this is a total hit. <laughs> I mean, leave it to Darlene, Charlotte Tilbury, to give us this kind of lip products. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, this is a new favorite. Obsessed in love. Okay, friends, what a marathon <laughs> of products. I made it, I did it. I have so many products on my face. Um, no allergic reaction. If you're wondering if I have any pain on my lips, zero pain. My lips are fine. I mean, all these products are of great, great quality. Some of them impress me more than others. Like, I really enjoy the Huda Beauty, but wow, the house labs, they really like, woo! The Milk Kush Lip Oil, super cute and a little bit more nostalgic because of the scent, you know, but I will go with a deeper shade. A really nice formulation nonetheless. And all the formulas are really good. It just depends on the finish that you are after, whether more sheer, whether more shiny, whether more thick. I think it will depend on that. And hey friends, now I would love to hear from you. Are you still shopping the sale? Which things have you picked up? Which things are you liking? Which things you have fallen in love? And which products you're adding to cart immediately? <laughs> Let's just continue that conversation in the comment section then below. Are you at it? And if you haven't done so yet, <laughs> I don't know what you're waiting for, but I hope that you can subscribe to my channel so that way we can hit that 30k subscribers and hopefully by the end of the year we'll become a big family of 100k subscribers. I know, I'm just like uh, throwing it to the universe. <laughs> If you're on Instagram and TikTok, please come and follow me there. If you like this video, if it serves you of any help, please give it a thumbs up, share with family and friends. And until the next time, I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful day.
बाय